Hey, what's up everyone and welcome back. It is me once again back up in the heezy baby. We're playing Meet Your Maker and it's so crazy. So anyway, we are playing an outpost called Crazy Horse. Crazy Ho no, Hungry Horse by the map maker known as PK Brown, which is also another meet your maker player and he does excellent maps in my opinion I've played most of them I back in the day I tried to play all of them but he has so many of them that it uh, it's a little crazy just like the name of this map crazy horse so right now I believe I am on top of either some claws or oh maybe I'm on top of like a mountain maybe that's what he's coiled around like a large mountain and although this is called Crazy Horse, this is obviously a dragon. Yeah, I guess that goes without saying. Those are the dragon skills. He's putting a lot of detail into this uh, piece of art. I have done like a dragon head, but not like the whole dragon body coiled around something. Mine is much smaller. And uh, it looks like he put a lot of effort into this. I'm going to look around real fast. See if I missed any tombs because the tombs contain treasure and the treasure I can use to uh, um, buy mods and, and upgrades and such and keep my bases running my outposts and uh, that's there's like three currencies in this game and you get currencies by running other players outposts and uh, I need some more currency because I am down to only like 6,000 centite or so. So we're going to go into the mouth. Look at that. That looks beautiful. Just just the mouth alone looks beautiful. And look at that drip. Yeah, you, you don't want to get hit by that. You don't want to be standing in that too long or you go down. But some of you may have figured that out already. Hey, hey, this is getting a little crazy up in here. Getting a little too drippy over here. And right there, we don't want that. We don't want to get hit by any of those plasma sentinels. They're nasty. And so is the sentinel laser. Our laser sentinel or laser turret. Whatever you want to call it. Those incinerators can be nasty. And oh, we have a cheeky little enforcer hiding in the cut right there. I couldn't even see him. But uh, yeah, he could see me, and he almost got me right there. We're going to try to get in there. Look at that. That was pretty smooth. I totally did that on purpose, right? I didn't think that I was going to fall in the lava. No, I almost fell in the lava, to be honest with you. But uh, that would be bad. So let's keep going. Let's keep moving forward. Harvey is going ahead of us, that little robot you saw on the path. He shows players the path. Right now I have a perk on. And take this and take a little bit of that too, huh? And let me get out of here. Let me get out of here before those sentry turrets get me or sentry lasers. Oh my gosh, all of a sudden I can't can't remember the name of certain traps right now. But that's okay. Everything's alright. This is a fun outpost so far for a brutal. Sometimes brutals they're not always fun. But, you know, that's my definition of fun. Each person's definition might be a little different. And my opinion is uh, subjective. So there you have it. Watch out for the drip right there. That would be all bad. Ah, oh, look at you hiding in the cut. Very clever. Very clever Ravenger right there. All right. I'm going to go over there and play with him and watch out for that plasma sentinel. And there's a hornet shooting at me and there's another guard. So what we're going to do is we're going to retreat. And we're going to reset their aggro a little bit. And uh, while we're doing that, we're going to go ahead and grab my ammo. Because I noticed I was short on ammo at this point. If I take a dip in there. Yeah, I got it. I got it. And I got it without uh, going down too. That's great. I didn't get eliminated this time ladies and gentlemen but next time I might not be so lucky so anyway let's see I'll take that out first and then I'll, I'll back up just a little bit 
Just a little bit. Give me a little bit of room. I got one more shot. Let's do it. Boom. Got the Hornet. First try. Right there. Guard killed. Guard slain. It should be like words like Elden Ring. That would be pretty cool. Of course, uh, Canabacks are no good. So we're going to try to get rid of one of them, shall we? Before uh, we get taken out. Canabacks are all bad. So, uh, yeah, there's one. There's an enforcer up there. Let's try not to be a clutch. And get taken out. Oh my gosh, that was scary. My life flashed before my eyes. Look at that. But where is the cannon back? It came from the right side. But I don't see him. Is he on the floor or something? Maybe he's on ground level. There he is. I saw him that time. Alright, that would have been so cool if I would have shot him and it went a rip right into his cannon. Right when he was firing and it just would have exploded. That would have been like so cinematic. But, uh, that's okay. I kicked it back at him like it was a soccer ball. That works. That does the trick. Sometimes it be like that, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, and the, and the way that he hides the guards is so good. Like, if I wasn't already a seasoned skilled player I would have totally got took it out right there and let's uh, do some cleanup work right here because he's got some traps uh, in some uh, sneaky places right there and just in case I need to come back through here we don't want those going off at the least expected moment so we're gonna continue to move forward here checking all the corners because uh, He's been hiding targets really good. Something's shooting at me. What is shooting at me? Is it that plasma sentinel way back there? How does it have that much range? Whenever, oh, maybe it's that one? Because whenever I do these plasma sentinels, they don't have that much range. So let's get this enforcer dealt with. And I'm going to leave that sentinel for later. Because the Ravenger is a bigger threat right now. I mean, everything's a threat, but you want to, when you're making your way through outposts, you want to figure out, like, what's the biggest. And it looks like I done goofed right there. Illustrate done goof, ladies and gentlemen. But that's okay. We put down a Phoenix pod, and we are chilling right now. We are going back to work. Back in action. And don't let it get, get you down. If you're playing this game and you're new and you just keep getting taken out by an outpost maybe take a break come back do it later or put an, a phoenix pod down and maybe that'll help you clear the outpost faster i know it helps me you know i'm i'm relatively decent at the game but you know i make mistakes as you guys just saw and it's always nice to have that little phoenix pod down to give you that one extra life since one hit and you're done in this game but I like it I like the challenge and it's fun to move around fast and shoot stuff and slash at stuff and there's other weapons and shields and stuff you can use too I just like this loadout because it's uh it's kind of balanced to where you can beat almost any outpost almost there's some outposts that are just a little bit too crazy for this loadout and you need to take uh, special measures to beat them but anyway I think we're getting close to the end because <laughs> this base is ginormous and uh, I think I've killed pretty much everything and I feel like I'm uh, going in circles at this point so I might need to follow the yellow line I might need to follow the yellow brick road okay I see Harvey how you doing buddy how you doing? Is it this way? No, I think I came from that way. Alright, I think we are finally heading in the right direction. Up this twisty, turny ramp. Which is really creative. I love it when uh, builders do creative stuff like this. I mean, I, I get lost really easy, but... This this will help out and always check behind you because sometimes there can be like a little spike trap or a guard just waiting to uh, slash your face off and that would be no good right now when I'm so close to the end I think 
At least I think I'm close to that. I could be totally wrong. But this, uh, this is the wrong way, isn't it? Let's go the right way. <laughs> oh, it's right there. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I feel silly. All right, now I think this is a uh, an exit that he wants me to go down into this deep dark sewer or intestine or whatever part of the dragon's body. Is this an honest exit? Yes, it is. It's an honest second wave exit. You don't see those too often. Thank you very much. I enjoyed it. And uh, besides almost getting lost at the end, I I definitely like this outpost a lot, especially since I only went down once. So that's not that's not too shabby right there. Are those bugs on top of the dragon? That's crazy. All right. Anyway, guys, if you liked what you've seen today and you want to see more, be sure to hit that subscribe button and leave a like if you liked the video. I'll catch you next time.